Happy death day to you. Happy <laughs> death day to you. Happy death day, people in the world. Happy death day to you. Chelsea at the movies, yay! All right, guys, we went and saw Happy Death Day to You. The trailers, we saw the trailers for this movie, and it looked good. The trailer, <laughs> first of all, the trailer was so good that it made us not only wanted to see this movie, but we saw but want to see the, the original Happy Death Day. The first one in the installment. So we rented sequel. that, uh, you know, and, and watched that, enjoyed it, and then we went and saw this movie. So the premise of the movie is that it's kind of like a more, you know, it's ground violent like Groundhog Day, yeah. you know. So the movie with Bill Murray, um, this uh, girl in college, right, keeps reliving the same day. Except this particular day, she gets murdered every time. Right. So you know, if you happen to be, you know, going to be murdered in your life and pick this day to relive over and over, this is what was happening to her. But she would come back each time, and so you kind of follow her throughout that. So. Happy Death Day to You is a sequel in a, a way sequel. that, and it's kind of the same. They even mentioned this in the movie, Back to the Future 2. Yeah, and so, so it continues on, and so let's just cut to let's Go cut to the chase. Skip All right, this movie. I thought long and hard about this, <laughs> and I've decided to say, Go see this movie. And I'm going to tell you to go see this movie, but first, to watch the original movie. If you haven't seen Happy Death Day, yeah, yeah, go yeah. see that movie, and then go see this movie. Um, it's smart, it's funny, it reminds me of a cross between. Groundhog Day and Back to the Future, like we already said, but also it reminds me of the movie Scream or I Know What You Did Last Summer. And I enjoy those kinds of movies when they're done well. These movies are done well and I enjoyed it, so go see it. I would say wait. Um, although I enjoyed, I enjoyed the first installment in this movie, Happy Death Day, more than this one. Felt like they kind of dropped the ball with this one. Spoilers! Spoilers! Spoilers to you. So I cannot with... believe they tied this movie into the Marvel Universe oh, okay. with Thanos. Like I did not <laughs> expect them. Like you're watching the movie and halfway through it, people just start disappearing and you're like, what? And then Iron Man shows up. It's crazy. So in the first installment of this series, it's it's the time travel element, right? Like she's reliving the same day over and over. We don't know why this happens or how it does. It's actually something. It's never explained. Never explained which... in the first installment. In this movie, they do explain it. So yeah. I, I really like that. I was like, okay, they were smart. They took criticism from probably they received for the first movie. Yeah. And they went back and I thought they did a really good job of having Although a good I thought story. it like kinda cleared out the clutter in the in the first movie in that you didn't have to deal with why it was happening. You just got to deal with like you had this great yeah. lead who was who was very like charismatic and she plays the role really well and you just follow her through this kind of funny, Weird. gory way of like reliving the same well, day. It's not over gory, over. like it's PG thirteen, but it's uh, I just mean violent. like it's like she's dying every time, yeah. so it's not like Groundhog Day where he just goes to sleep and wakes up. They like she's being murdered. She goes or, to sleep in the morning, or intentionally yeah. like uh, cool. kills herself to end the day. Like uh, so, in that way, it's just a little a little rougher. But um, it, you know, they focused on the humor, and then she has like a mystery involved, a mystery to unravel, and then. She has a relationship uh, that she deals with, right? She, um, her mother died like when she was younger, and so it, you kind of get like a emotional way that you're working through that with the character. Now we come to the happy second birthday to you, second installment, and not only do you have the time travel element, now you have the a multiverse theory thrown in, and so we get the why, right? The the movie starts out following a side character from the first movie that you don't really know at all and it's the roommate and he's reliving the same day over and over yeah and you had a problem with that the beginning of the movie and how they did that well it was it was long like i already watched the first and you have to watch the first movie to watch this one like i don't think yeah you, you wouldn't can go see not. back to future 2 without seeing Back to future. right like you need like to watch that. the first one so i've already seen that and yet like it's long i thought the way they wrote the character like i just didn't like this guy so i don't want to spend more time with him than i need to like i didn't think he was likable i didn't think he was like that funny um so i really like i was like can we get on with this? Like, I get it. He's he's reliving the same day over and over. Then for me, the big hole was, was like, we find out why. Like, he goes back, and it turns out he's super, like, some kind of, like, brilliant, you know, physicist, I don't know what he is. Genius. Science-related, whatever. He's made, like, this big machine 
that, you know, it's big, it's loud, it uses a lot of energy and has a lot of lights. That's, that's what we know about it. Yeah. And apparently while whatever they do with this machine, this is what caused the issue in the first movie and what's causing him to relive this same day, except like when he talks to her about it, then they go back and now all of a sudden she's reliving the same day. Yeah. Over so and over. My, like, why is it her? my experience of watching it was I was disappointed when it was happening to him. Yeah. But then it wasn't that long until they reset everything and it's happening to her. Yeah. And, and then, then like, I didn't know that I didn't want it happening to him until it was happening to her. And I was like, oh, good, we're back with her. And that's I what can we wanted. imagine if the whole movie was. So I him. And no way, offense to that guy, but they just didn't write that character. I thought the way the way. story, the story was, I thought, smart and difficult. So I agree that it's not as good as the first movie, but I also think that Back to the Future 2 wasn't as good as Back to the Future 1, but that they're both worth watching. And all, the whole series is worth watching. I feel the same way about this movie, and it's basically the same kind of premise. And I thought that they were smart. It was funny because the characters, all the characters in it, are interesting and funny. Mm -hmm. And then also, it was really I found myself in tears twice during the movie, <laughs> yeah. which I did not expect. And I think if any time you can pull all that range of emotion off, and I was never bored in the movie. Um, I was always interested in what's going to happen. And then I, the ending to me was satisfying. And so when I was going go, wait, or skip, I thought I was going to say wait because I was, you have to see the first movie. I can't like say go see this movie. Don't go see this movie if you haven't seen the first movie. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to modify mine because we do whatever we want and tell people to see the first movie and then see the second movie because I think they're both definitely a new and interesting genre of movie and they've combined a lot of different kinds of movies that I like into one movie. And then we love time travel stuff. We watch The Flash on the CW, and that. we Terminator, love that stuff. Like, Terminator yeah. and Back to the Future and all that stuff, and I love that. I like that. the mind-boggling like aspect of it. Just for me, this movie, I mean, that opening sequence with the roommate following him, I was like, let's get this over with. And then when it switched to her, we went through like some, some of the day, right? Reliving the day. And I thought the jokes were flat. I thought it didn't work, and I was bored. I was like, uh, I really don't like this. And then the whatever, the reason why, that big machine, I was like, well, this is pretty weak. Like, mm. you know, I'm not a I'm not a child. Like, I feel like I need a little bit more and why this is happening. And then some of the side characters around that, the uh, dean, I guess, or the professor, mm. whatever, um, the uh, guards or maintenance people that, like, come in and help him because he's like, you can't have this. He uses too much energy. I thought that was a caricature of, like, the... Of that kind of person and I, I didn't really care oh. for it now the second half of the movie did take off I thought like when when she's thrown into onto another earth where her mother's not dead um, I thought that was really interesting and then all of a sudden she has to make a decision she's like whoa I'm not leaving this this time I'm staying here because my mom's here and then like she does like you do like tear up because she learns like why she needs to be like right where she's at and why that's important um, the end of the movie, I thought, was really interesting because all of a sudden you're taken from this being a, like, small world in that it's, like, college, very scream, like, 90s-like, right? And then at the end, they bring in, like, a big government agency, and all of a sudden this has room for, and this is a mid credit scene, this has room for, uh, expanding into more of, like, a, it reminded me of, like, 90s again, but, like, Men in Black kind of you know, yeah. where you have a government agency and they need to test this and like what's going to happen. And so, um, yeah. So to me, it was just like a, a movie kind of split down the middle where the front half, I mean, it left me so disappointed that I was like, well, what are they going to do with the rest of this series? And do I even care? That's how disappointed I was with the beginning of the movie. What about the end? Well, the end, the rest of the movie, although I enjoyed it, wasn't enough to overcome that, which is why I'm saying wait. So what I about, can't are be you like interested eager. in seeing the third movie? I am because I've seen the first two. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and we would appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. You know what? And on the fourth thing, you should do if you're watching these is share these. Yes, we appreciate Actually, that. Actually, just share it. You don't have to do. <laughs> well, yeah, we need we want the like, comment, and subscribe because it helps the channel grow. Well, you know, while you're in the giving mood, just go ahead. <laughs> you just want to drop secret gifts off at our house. You know, we don't we don't need to know who you are. <laughs> What we don't need to meet. This this is person. this is spiraling out of control. Going back to the part where she ends up in a world where her mother isn't dead.
like, in an alternate universe. Sometimes I wonder, like, if I ever woke up in an alternate universe where I wasn't dead on the inside, 